In previous project we built uh, a gas leakage detection and uh, automatic valve shutdown system using Arduino MQ-2 sensor, relay module and a solenoid valve. So watch this tutorial if you want to control the gas flow using a solenoid valve which provides a best protection. In this episode I'll show you how to make your own smoke or gas leakage detection and SMS alert system. When a gas or smoke is detected, a message will be sent to the desired person using a GSM module. For this project, we will be needing number one Arduino Uno or Mega. I'll be using Arduino Uno, but the same program can also be run on Mega. As every program that is written for Arduino can also run on Mega. Number two GSM SIM 900A or SIM 900D module. Number three Gas or Smoke Sensor module MQ-2. Number 4 Power Supply for GSM Module These components can be purchased from Amazon. I will provide links in the description. I select best components with best prices. I am also providing links for free ebooks and other Amazon special offers. This is the GSM module in market. We have different types of GSM modules. The one I'll be using today is SIM900A. If you want, you can also use SIM900D. The same code is also tested using SIM900D but with a different baud rate. The rest of the program remains the same. If you are from Pakistan or India, make sure you purchase the unlocked version of the SIM900A. This GSM SIM900A module, as you can see on the screen, has no onboard voltage regulator. So be careful while applying the voltage. Ideal voltage for this GSM module is 4.7 volts, but you can also connect it with 5 volt adopter. If you don't have a 5 volt adopter, then you can make your own power supply using LM317 adjustable variable voltage regulator. I have a very detailed tutorial on LM317 explaining everything, so do watch this tutorial. As you can see in the picture, we have so many pins which are labeled, but we will be using only 5 of these pins. The power supply pins, ground, RXT 5 volt and TXT 5 volt. The ground will be connected with the Arduino ground, TXT will be connected with the Arduino pin 7 and RXT will be connected with the Arduino pin 8. This gaze sensor module features an MQ-2 sensor. The MQ-2 sensor is a versatile gaze sensor capable of detecting a wide range of gases including alcohol, carbon monoxide, hydrogen, isobutane, liquefied petroleum gas, methane, propane and smoke. This module is provided with male header interface and can be easily interfaced with Arduino Omega using male to female type jumper wires. The four male headers are labeled with A0, D0, ground and VCC. A0 is the analog output of the sensor and uh, should be connected with the analog pin of the Arduino Uno or Omega. D0 is the digital output in the form of 5 volt or ground. The level can be adjusted using the variable resistor. Ground pin of this module will be connected with the ground of the Arduino or Mega. VCC should be connected with 5 volt of Arduino or Mega. This schematic is designed in Gatesoft Eagle. If you want to learn how to make schematics and PCBs, then watch my tutorials. The MQ-2 sensor and GSM 900 a modules interfacing with Arduino or Mega is very simple. As you know, my friends, GSM 900 a module communicates with Arduino using serial communication. So that's why we have to define pins for the TX and RX pins of the GSM module. Well, you also know that Arduino has a serial port which is on pin number 0 and pin number 1. But as I always say, never use the Arduino's default serial port for communication with other modules. As it's a good programming practice to use the Arduino's default serial port for the debugging purposes. Now the question is if we are not using this serial port, then how we will connect the GSM module? Well, no worries at all. We can define multiple serial ports using the software serial library which I will explain in the programming. As you can see in the connection diagram, TX of the SIM900A is connected with pin 7 of the Arduino, RX of the SIM900A is connected with pin 8 of the Arduino and ground is connected with the ground of Arduino. 
a power supply is connected with GSM SIM 900A. The ideal voltage is 4.7 volt to 5 volts. The MQ-2 sensor module VCC pin will be connected with the Arduino's 5 volt. Its ground pin will be connected with the Arduino's ground and its A0 pin will be connected with the Arduino's A1 pin. This is the program written for gas leakage detection and SMS alert system. First of all, we start with hash include software serial dot h. Hash include means that it's a pre-processor directive and dot h means that it's a header file. This is the library which is used for making multiple ports. I have a very detailed tutorial on how to make multiple serial ports. So do watch this tutorial. After watching this tutorial, then you will be able to connect more than two modules. Software seal SIM 900, pin number 7 and 8. So GSM module is connected here. As we will be sending a text message. So for this, we will be needing a variable of the type string. String text for SMS. Integer smoke is, is equal to A1. Smoke or gaze is sensor connected with analog pin A1 of the Arduino Omega. A1 is the pin number and smoke is, is the name of the A1. You can also give it any other name. Even you can name it as LMN or XYZ. But it's a good programming practice to use such a name which has a meaning. The name smoke is clearly shows that with pin a1 of the Arduino Omega smoke sensor is connected. Variable names follow some rules. For example, no numbers are allowed in the beginning of the variable names. No spaces are allowed in the variable names. And we cannot use same variable names for different pins. A variable name should be unique in simple words as your name is unique among your brothers and sisters. Learn about different types of compiling errors. I have a very detailed tutorial on this. How to find and fix errors. If you are a beginner, I highly recommend you should watch this tutorial. Integer data equals to zero. This will be used to store the values coming from the sensor module. Every Arduino and Mega program has at least two functions which are the wide setup function and wide loop function. Wide setup executes only one time when the Arduino Omega board is powered up. Wide means that this function is not returning any value and the empty parentheses means that this function is not taking any arguments as the input. If you want to learn in detail about the functions, then watch my tutorial on functions in which you will learn how to use built-in functions and user-defined functions. Random seed analog read is zero. Zero is uh, the the analog pin of the Arduino serial dot begin 9600. This function is used to activate the serial communication. 9600 is the baud rate. So this is a function which is not returning any value but takes one argument as the input, which is the baud rate or communication speed. Sim 900 dot begin 9600. For Sim 900 D, I used 19,200 baud rate while enter 9600 for the sim 900a pin mode smoke is input pin mode function is used for telling the microcontroller that the pins that we're gonna be using will be used for reading or controlling as in our case we are reading the sensor values so that's why we are using it as input then starts a wide loop function now this function will run infinite times until we turn off the Arduino you know Omega this function is also not returning any value and doesn't take any argument as the input. Data equals analog read smoke is we are reading the sensor and storing the value in the variable data. The purpose of these two instructions is to find the exact range of values like for example what values we get when there is no gas leakage or smoke and what set of values we get when there is a gas leakage or smoke. So serial dot print a smoke and serial dot print LN data. I tested it in my room and I find out that in, in normal condition when there is no gas leakage and no smoke, the value stays uh, below 230. How to find out this value I will tell you once we are done with the programming. If data greater than 230, 
text for SMS equals to gaze or smoke detected. So this is a message that we will be sending. So send SMS, text for SMS, send the message consisting of the text gaze or smoke detected. Now seal dot print alien text for SMS. And we also send the same text to the serial monitor. Serial dot print ln message sent. Delay 5000, then a delay of 5 seconds is 5000 milliseconds equal to 5 seconds. While 1, and then the control enters into an infinite loop. For this, I'm using a while loop. The control will stay inside this loop until we resort on the microcontroller. White sent SMS string message. This is a user defined function. It has no return type and takes one argument as the input of the type string. Same 900 dot print 80 plus CMGF equals to 1. For setting the plain text mode, download and study 80 commands. Delay 1000 milliseconds, then a delay of 1 second. Same 900 dot print ln 80 plus CMGS is equal to the mobile number on which you want to send that message. Delay 1000 milliseconds, which is equal to 1 second, and then we send a message and then character 26, and then there is a delay of 1000, then print ln, and uh, then again there is uh, a delay of uh, 100 milliseconds, and uh, then there is the uh, the same uh, 900 power function which is used to turn off the module, but uh, in this module we don't have such functionality, so that's why I have commented uh, this uh, function. So now we are done with the programming, compile the code by clicking on the verify button to check for any errors await for a while. Connect Arduino Uno Omega with a computer or laptop. Now click on the tools menu and make sure the right board is selected. Now click on the upload button and wait. So now as you can see the program is uploaded. Now click on the serial monitor to check what values we are getting when there is no gas leakage and what values we get when there is a gas leakage. As you can see the value is below 230 as there is no gas leakage. And when there is a gas leakage the value exceeds 230. Now let's practically check this. So my friends, as you can see, all the components are connected as per the circuit diagram. The MQ-2 sensor is connected with the Arduino Uno. It's a zero pin is connected with a one pin of the Arduino. Its VCC is connected with five volt of the Arduino in it. And its ground is connected with the Arduino's ground. And this is the GSM-900 module. And its TX and RX pins are connected with pin 7 and 8. And uh, this is a five volt uh, adopter. And the Arduino Uno is connected with the laptop. If you want, you can also power up this uh, uh, Arduino Uno using a 12 volt adopter or any other source. So uh, the connections are very easy. And now let's uh, test this. So, for instance, this is the cell phone on which I will receive the message. And for the gas leakage detection, I will be using uh, this lighter. So, first of all, let me reset this the controller. And uh, now. And now let's wait for the message. So friends, as you can see, we just received a message. And uh, over here you can see that uh, the gaze or smoke detected. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share my videos with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.